Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And today, January 5th, I do have the pleasure to present you the Zenit Chronomaster Revival El Primero A385. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Before starting the presentation of this beautiful Zenit chronograph, I want to invite you to see the first pictures I took from the watch in different light conditions so you can admire the watch and then let me give you some first technical information as always. Enjoy the pictures. The A385 model was one of the original free El Primero released in 1969 together with the A384 and A386. That's logical, huh? 384, 5 and 6. And the 385 featured a smoky brown khaki fume dial. I found some pictures on the internet to show you the watch dating back from the 1970s and there is the new one and you can clearly see the similarity is of course there and we still today have this uh, effect on the dial as I said before it's a smoky brown khaki fumé dial it's still there you see clearly the effect as it is a fumé dial on the outer side it is more dark and getting inside the color changes it's getting brighter and this style is delivering a very nice effect and this is nothing new as you saw already on the pictures now from the historical models it was done in the 1970s already so for those um, thinking that Zenit is copying something nope they are copying themselves and at the time being these type of dials were pretty popular and yeah a must have if you want to put it that way so this is really an authentic replica the only thing that is not there is the case button because we do have a see-through case button yes in the early days it was not the case that um, the watch manufacturers opened the uh, case buttons at the time being so it was a closed case button but uh, all the rest is authentic the diameter as it was in the time being today 37 millimeters the thickness of this uh, El Primero A385 uh, is uh, 13.5 millimeters and the lug to lug distance from this lug to this lug this dimension is 47 millimeters well it is the El Primero 400 movement automatic movement 50 hours of power reserve yes it is of course a El Primero so it is a 5 hertz movement and the balance wheel is oscillating at 36,000 semi oscillations per hour easy to show on the second version with the nice brown leather strap this is the El Primero movement with the automatic rotor. So, but the rest, you can also see and focus on the version with the leather strap, exactly the same watch. Here with the push pieces and the crown with the Zenit star on it. Yep. Also part of the watch is this famous Lada Lada bracelet. Um, at the time being manufactured by Geffrey, that was a bracelet manufacturer. And it is that Lada bracelet because it has holes. You can see 
<laughs> it looks like a ladder. Yeah, it's that famous design. And in the time being, there was uh, on the clasp, on the inner side of the clasp, you had the G Frere Hallmark. Today it's not there, of course, because it is a bracelet that is manufactured by Zenit. So the clasp looks authentic to the one the watch had in the time being. Here you have a, you see, that's a folding clasp. You can open it. And yeah, pretty thin, yes, as they used to be. That's how they did those folding clasps in the past. They, today, of course, everything would be more massive, but at the end, this adds up thickness and weight, etc. So this is how it was. Then you have that, you click, you close, and you have a security to prevent the clasp to open up. Zenit engraved on it, Zenit, or the one with the leather strap. This is the leather strap. You can choose the watch with it. If you're more into these, those, comes with a pin buckle with the Zenit star on it. Send it written, nicely executed, no doubt. Difficult to say how I would want to wear the watch um, since this um, ladder bracelet is so unique. Probably you have to wear it with it. I think this is the only authentic way to wear it. Um, enjoy the pictures where you can discover nice leather strap and the nice end. Yeah, authentic. I have to say authentic. Gefrer Ladder Bracelet. I quickly want to tell you a little bit about the history of the A385. Uh, back, in the, back in 1969, the A385 was only manufactured in a production of 2,400 pieces and it was known for its attractive khaki or cappuccino dial and we still have the dial. You can clearly see it and the different light conditions and you clearly see also these nice fume effect where the dial is less or darker on the outside and getting less towards the middle of the dial. There were two marginally, marginally different dials used for the model with slightly different shades of khaki featuring silver or white subdials. These days the different shades in the color are simply there due to the aging of the dial. So if you see one of the originals, it will be more difficult to distinguish them. And uh, as I mentioned in the, in the beginning of the video, the A385 is part of the original Zenit chronograph uh, trilogy. So the three watches that have been presented together. And uh, yeah, those originals today have become highly collectible pieces. Yes, and um, the more they will be due to the fact that Zenit now is doing the revival of this watch initially presented in 1969. I want to show you a specific feature of the El Primero movement. Those of you who have been using it or have one in uh, the collection know that already, of course, but I expect also people not to be aware of it. So the El Primero has a um, interesting uh, change of position, if you want to put it that way. So normally when you pull out the crown on a watch that has a date indication, as this, uh, clear, this watch clearly has, you would expect in the first position to find the quick changing possibility of the date, not with the El Primero. Uh, at least not with the version we know so far. Because in the first position, what you do is you 
to the time setting. And you also see clearly that uh, in the first position, uh, when I pull out the crown, the watch does not stop. The central second hand still swipes over the dial as well as the running second, so the watch does not stop. And of course, in the second, and I pull out the crown in the second position, there you see, now I'm in the position to change the date. This is very specific because normally, as you all know, it's the other way around. And I do announce that in 17 days from now, uh, January 22nd, I will be able to show you something very special. And this little feature might be obsolete then. So be sure the 22nd of January not to miss a video that will go online um, on Watch Advisor and YouTube, of course. So, let me set this back to the 8. There we are. First position. I pull it into the first position. And you see, it's time changing. That's pretty specific. Close the case. In case I did not mention it, waterproof 50 meters. Very, yes, that was a good, so let's say, a good uh, standard 50 meters at the time. And today also 50 meters waterproof as it was. Please enjoy the wrist shot. Um, I've been filming the watch also on the wrist. The wrist uh, size is 17 centimeters. So in case you want to know how it looks like, enjoy the pictures. And just afterwards, I will show you what you can read from the dial when it is dark. Lots of super luminova has been applied on the dial and it's really looking gorgeous. Um, whoa, wow, wow. Incredible even. So we do have super luminova on the hands. On the second hand there is a little dot and we do have indications for 10, 11, 12, 1, 2 o'clock, for 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 7 and 8 o'clock. So nicely done by Zenit. What do we see on the dial of the A385? So we do have the running second, position of 9. We do have a 30 minute counter of the chronograph at position 3 o'clock and position uh, 6 o'clock we do have a 12 hour counter. And here at 4.30 is the date, a white date disc reflecting the color. In this case, I do not have a problem with um, a date disc that is not done in the same color as the dial, um, since it is in perfect harmony and looks good. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and of course, yeah, there's a tachymeter scale. You can see here. Tachymeter scale. More and more people have been asking uh, that I always Weigh the watches. I did it, of course, once again. So the weight of the watch is um, different, of course, because we do have the strap and the bracelet. Depending on how many links you have in the bracelet, of course, uh, the weight will be different. But in the setting as it is now in your picture, I have been weighing 113 grams for the version with the bracelet. And the version with the leather strap weighs 72 grams in the setting as you see it here so it's a very light watch of course and if you like small sizes if you're into it if you think 37 millimeters are okay that's a really perfect watch so the question now is bracelet or strap if uh, i may say something you have to wear the watch with the leather bracelet, I think. The um, nice brown uh, strap is an alternative, of course, but this is, yeah, this is a replica of the watch and it should be worn, um, yeah, with that famous Gay Frere leather bracelet with these <laughs> holes. It's so nice. Look. 
there they are once again and you can clearly see it's a see-through bracelet <laughs> very nice i would wear it with it even though i have to say uh, those 37 millimeters are <clears throat> a size where i am not sure if i would downsize to 37 millimeters but that, this is me i'm very keen to read your comments of course because um, um, Many of you are, um, yeah, ongoing, um, writing in the comments and commenting, yeah, please make smaller watches, uh, do make those sizes uh, smaller, etc., etc. So let me know, 37 millimeters, is this um, enough or is this too small? What do you think? I'm keen to read your comments. So, clear decision from my side, I would take uh, the famous Geffrer ladder bracelet, but, yep. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching a presentation of this beautiful Zenit. Looking forward to see you back here on the channel for the next videos. Of course, please don't forget to watch the video that will go online the 21st of January. And I will present another novelty of Zenit, as this is a novelty that I was, by the way, Filming today is uh, the 13th, uh, Sunday 13th of December. I was able to get hands on the watches. They were touring around here in Austria, being shown to the retail, and I was luckily enough to get hands on so I could film them for you. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye for today. And yeah, stay safe and sound. Bye bye. <laughs>